Hi, it's Chris Mori, and welcome to Virtual Administrator's Kaseya for Tax training webcast. This webcast is designed to show a field or help desk technician the basics of how to use Kaseya in their day-to-day -day jobs. If you're going to actually be a Kaseya administrator, you will also want to review our other training webcasts for more in-depth knowledge of Kaseya. So let's get started. So what is this software called Kaseya? Kaseya is the leader of a group of software called an RMM tool. Remember that acronym, it's used quite a bit in the tech industry. RMM is short for Remote Management and Monitoring, and it's basically a web-based tool that allows you to manage all of your servers and workstations from a single place, or what we like to call a single pane of glass. Kaseya has a wide range of capabilities, but what can it do for you? As you begin to use Kaseya in your day-to-day -day tech life, the single biggest feature you will use is Live Connect. Live Connect allows you to support your client remotely, and in many cases do so without interrupting them. And when you do need to work with them, Live Connect will allow you to remote control their screen and see what they see to resolve a problem. Now don't worry, we'll spend some time with Live Connect during the live demo portion of this webcast. So we called Kaseya an RMM tool, and one of those M's is monitoring. Kaseya has been set up by your administrator to monitor various parts of your client's servers and workstations and send an alert when something goes wrong. Often these alerts will help prevent things from going wrong at your customer's site. Kaseya has quite a few modules available, but some of them may not be turned on for you or may not even be in use by your company. The core modules of Kaseya are Remote control, allowing you to help your clients remotely by seeing their screen. Monitoring, as I mentioned, is a big part of Kaseya, and we can set Kaseya to do things like monitor offline alerts, letting you know when a server's down. Event log monitoring, which looks for things in the Windows event logs and alerts you. Monitoring services or applications or monitoring things like CPU utilization or low memory. We can also monitor disk space and alarm when the space gets below a certain threshold. We also can do patch management. Kaseya can completely control the patching of Windows machines. We can set when machines are patched, what patches to apply, and even set when to reboot them. Inventory and reporting. Do you need a list of computers complete with serial numbers, memory, and many other items? It's in there. How about a report with all your Microsoft Office licenses assigned to each machine? Kaseya's reporting can give you insight into your client's machines and help you keep track of their assets. Agent procedures or scripting. We use this for many different things from installing the latest version of Adobe Reader to creating admin accounts or setting power settings. These are some of the optional modules you may run across. Kaseya has two different antivirus products. Kaspersky, which is called KAV, or Kaseya Antivirus, and AVG, which is called KES, or Kaseya Endpoint Security. There are also a number of backup options, including the backup module, or Butter, B-U-D-R, which uses the Acronis software, Kaseya Data Backup, which backs up files locally or to the cloud, and a new module called System Backup and Recovery, which will use the storage craft as the backup engine. Kaseya also has an anti-malware product, which allows you to install and manage malware bytes anti-malware. Just when you thought you might have all these acronyms under control, bam, here's another 10 modules that you might see in your travels. Seriously, don't sweat it. I can barely keep track of them. Just know that you're working with one of the most powerful pieces of RMM software ever developed. All right, enough of this alphabet soup. Let's move on to the good stuff. Before we jump into the live demo, I just wanted to share with you the very basics of how Kaseya works. To start with, there are three pieces of the puzzle. You, your client's machine, and the Kaseya server. You will need to install a very small 
two megabyte agent on your client server desktop laptop Mac or Linux box don't worry we'll talk about different ways to get that installed when we do the live demo portion once installed the client system will securely phone home to the Kaseya server and because the client initiated the contact in most cases it goes right through the client's firewall right into the Kaseya server using port 5721 when the initial contact is complete you will see a blue K in the taskbar of Windows machines although your company may have customized this and might be your own icon once the agent starts checking in you can access it with almost any browser by logging into the Kaseya server and the Kaseya server will relay all communications over its secure channels between the client's workstation and itself. Alright, enough slides. Let's get on with the live demo.